Hello! Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be playing a little bit more Engineer to Purpose today. I wanted to finish up collecting the stars I was missing on some of the levels now that I've unlocked all of the um, different gun parts. And yep, let's just get right into it. There's a bunch of levels that I'm missing things on. And I think now that I have everything, it'll be a lot easier. So, start. Uh, we'll see if, uh, as I'm playing, how often I need to adjust, like, the weapons and stuff. I think that's one of the cool things about this game, is how you do need to do that. So, I hope that I will need to make adjustments as I play. Do this. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any penalty for waiting until, like, the absolute last second and then releasing the enemies. You're basically just, I guess, uh, farming a little bit of extra gold that way. Or not gold. I forget what it's called, sorry. Energy. Um, but yeah, it feels like if you don't do that, you actually don't have enough energy for the stuff you would want to do, so it feels like you kind of need to do it to be able to succeed. Uh, are some of them going to get through? Maybe? I think I can probably stop them by placing another gun. I do uh, need to make sure nothing gets through if I want to get all the stars, because that's one of the like objectives for it. So, definitely need to pay a little bit more attention. Make sure that if something uh, leaks, that I take care of it before it gets to the end. I think what I want next is the... Uh, I like the upgrade to this gun. I'm not sure. Okay, let's slow down a little bit here. Thought something got through, but I guess it must have gotten stopped by uh, the other gun I had over here. So, let's get it back up. I think this gun should be able to take care of them, but if not, I can just place another gun towards the end there. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna barely be able to take care of it there. Uh, let's put the big cannon down. And yep, I think uh, just let it go. Hopefully should be enough to take care of everything. Let's put a second down just to be safe. And yep, it looks like I was able to get them all, so... Uh, should be three stars on this level. Nice. So, let's see. I don't think there's anything left for me to unlock. Oh, whoops, I went to the wrong thing. Back, extractor. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can... Oh, no, actually there is. I can get the stronger detector. Uh, I am a little curious what the extra detector does. I haven't really been using the targeting. Um, so we'll see if that's helpful in some of the levels. Uh, so this one has lots of the little, little crawly dudes, the normal enemies, and the hoppy, tanky guys, the little jumpy guys. So, pretty sure the loadout I have should be just fine for that. So, um, yeah, I think these two spots, or sorry, this spot is the best one on the level just because... It can also reach just a tiny bit over here. Uh, so we'll start putting, by putting that there. And then otherwise, like the corner spots are always typically the best, um, just because they tend to be able to reach the most enemies. Uh, 
Oh, I see. So I was able to... Oh, I accidentally uh, <laughs> sent off a second wave there. It might be a problem. We'll see. I might have to place a second gun. I didn't want to because I want to save up for this one, but if I have to, I will. Mm, I'm probably going to have to. Yeah. All right, place that second gun there. That might be a big problem though, because like these more powerful weapons are like way more powerful than the the one below it. So um, not being able to place that one right away might make the difference between me being able to get this level perfectly or not. But we shall see. <laughs> I just love watching these run around. They're so funny. They're just like doing their little hops. And honestly, these are pretty funny too. Just the way they kind of like waddle around. But um, it's just interesting because you know the the enemies are obviously pretty disturbing since they're like heads attached to like limbs, essentially like tiny little limbs. But when you look at them from far away, they just kind of look. Um, you know, you can't really tell too much. Uh, for the big ones that it's ahead, unless you're really paying attention. Uh, oh, and I was not really paying attention there, speaking of, so I may need to put down a second gun to take care of these big guys. But I definitely want to put down one of the bigger weapons now. So let's put that here. And, uh, yep, now I'm just going to save up to upgrade the towers, and that should probably be enough to take care of this level. How much do I need? 270. Yeah, the early release mechanic in this game is interesting, because normally, um, you know, from playing, like, Gemcraft, um, mostly, I guess, is the, the game that comes to mind for me, when you release the enemies early, you get like a certain amount of gold, right? But the amount of gold scales with like the number of seconds early you sent them in. Whereas in this game, you get the full bonus, I guess, from doing it. Oh, and I could be in a little bit of trouble here, actually. Let's see. So this game is a little different in that regard. Oh, yeah, and it looks like uh, one of them's gonna get through there. Let me see if I can save it. Okay. I don't know if he'll be able to take out that big guy, though. Yep, got him. Alright, uh, yeah, I really need to save up for upgrades. This one's already upgraded, though. So next I'll build the, the Crawly Blaster. Because uh, those are the ones that are I'm having trouble with. They're a little, just a tiny bit too tanky for the weak guns to take care of them as they run by. Uh, and so, you know, this gun can obviously take care of them, but it might not have enough time to finish them off before they run through. Oh, yeah, it looks like some got through. So, I'm going to start that over. Uh, just need to be a little more careful. That was mostly, like I said, just having to place that second gun kind of messed me up there. Um, because if I had just placed, like, the upgraded one right away, I wouldn't have had to place the third gun, hopefully... Um, and actually, I just realized I have enough money to just start with this one right off the bat. I was not even paying attention. So, uh, that was probably <laughs> the bigger mistake. So, uh, with this one, I should be able to take most of the enemies out just fine. Uh, release the wave early. But, you know, even though I'm releasing the wave early, it's like literally just seconds before they would have been released anyways. So it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, wow, I was just barely able to get them. See, that, that last time I did it, right, it got through, and so I had to build the second gun. And two of these, I think, are definitely weaker than just one of those. And so that that is what ended up making the difference there. Um, and once again, I am talking instead of paying attention, so let's make sure that this gonna be all right here and I didn't get the extra money yeah I'm really just kind of butchering it right now so I'm gonna upgrade that tower hopefully that should help with that okay oh no <laughs> okay I screwed that up 
but it's okay. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the little dudes running by. I may have to place a second tower here, depending on what happens. Uh, it looks like the guns are uh, off, uh, becoming out of sync, which is actually helping me. Because uh, if they were in sync, they would probably both fire at the same target. Um, it doesn't look like the guns are optimizing, like, to make sure that you don't waste shots. So, I think that's actually helping me in this case. I really want to build the explosive gun, but I'm having a bit of trouble getting the money for it. There we go. So now I can place that there. And I think with that I should be pretty much safe. Um, that explosive gun is going to be able to deal with these little waves, which are the ones that are kind of risky for me. Um, yeah, so I don't think anything else will get through anymore. But obviously I'm still going to build more towers and upgrade my existing ones when possible. How much do I need to upgrade this? 350? Oh, so expensive. The upgrades in this game are pretty insane though. Like it like more, it like doubles its damage output, which is, you know, obviously just uh, way better than building more towers, so. Nice, cool. But yeah, just uh, that tiny difference in how I didn't pay attention and place the correct tower ended up making, you know, me be able to finish versus not be able to finish. So it's pretty crazy how like such a small difference can snowball because uh, when I first made the mistake it wasn't a huge deal but over time it lost me a lot of value. So let's move on to this level. This one they're just going to be walking in a circle so the best place to put things is just corners. Um, I am going to start by placing this here. Hmm. If this, if placing it here, if the turret is able to reach into this square, well, no, you're still losing too much value. So, this one might be a little better than this one, just because if it can reach all the enemies that are passing in the bottom there, then I'm just barely reaching into this square here, whereas this one definitely doesn't reach in. But I don't think it's necessary to, like, optimize that much here. I'm pretty sure just these guns... Um, should be able to deal with whatever it sends. Uh, mostly because this level is like pretty straightforward, right? It's just like a big spiral. Uh, so I just gotta make sure I get the extra money when I can, and that I use it to, you know, build uh, towers at the right time so that I don't have to panic by a weaker tower. Uh, speaking of panic buying things, let's build another one of these. It looks like I didn't have enough there. Okay. So I really do need to save up for the, the blaster. These little ones are the ones that get through, right? And then I end up having to build a second tower to deal with them. Uh, so I guess another thing I could think about doing is maybe just building a cheaper version of the splash tower, because... Oh, these guys can get through. I don't really need it to do as much damage as it currently does. Yep, one of them got through. Hmm. Well, that is not ideal. I don't want to have to be placing this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to start this level over. I'll give it a try to see if I am still able to finish, but I definitely wanted to have one of these blasting the AoE towers by now. Alright. Actually, I might be fine now. Because it's just more of the same stuff here. But once I build this uh, AoE tower, I think I'll definitely be fine. There's good enough energy for that here. Place it here. Make sure to claim all the extra energy that I can get here. Okay, so what's going on over here? I definitely want to upgrade. I think it should be able to stop that. I'm trying to decide if it's worth selling this so I can upgrade this tower. It's probably unnecessary. Yeah, 
that. That's all of them. So I'll definitely be able to stop this with what I have. And just upgrade that to be extra sure. It's less enemy. Nice. Got him. <clears throat> so what do we have here? more of the basic enemies that I was facing earlier. Uh, I do think I could experiment with making this AoE tower a little cheaper, because it only needs to one-shot these little guys. It doesn't really need to do that much damage to everything else. So let's try that, see how it goes. I do think I want... Well, let's see how much damage it does with the basics, so. I want the advanced generator because I want two guns. What's the advanced detector do though? I'm still not really sure about that. Change target. Z to switch to terrestrial. Interesting. Uh, so what am I able to do? Enemy condition options. Oh, I see, so you can uh, make it so that you target things that like haven't been slowed, for example. This one lets me target specific types of enemies. I assume this is probably just something that is not relevant to the demo. Like maybe there's different subclasses. Um, manual targeting. Yeah, so ideally what I would want to do, right, is to tell it to target the little, the little tiny guys, but it doesn't look like I have that option at the moment. Uh, I still want this to slow. Let's do that. And I can add a second attack now. And what I would like to do is actually have these be slightly offset. Because I don't want them... How much damage does this do? 20? And how much health do those little guys have? So let's see. Let's go to the last stage. These little guys... They have... 10 HP. Is that really it? Okay, well, I mean, if all they have is 10 HP, then this basic tower is enough. So, um, add... Oh, wait, but I can't do the... The combo grenade. Or, what is it called? The, the grenades that, like, explode into smaller grenades? Whatever. Uh, I can't do that with this one. So it's just going to be hitting the area, like the actual thing it targets, which I don't actually like. So if I switch to this, this is not really cheaper anymore. Well, part of it is because I have this. I don't need that. Hmm. I mean, I do like having these cluster bombs because I feel like they do make it so that they can hit those little guys more reliably when they run past. But we can just try this, see what happens. So I have the slow. I want to maybe decrease the firing rate of one of them so that they're desynchronized. I don't want them firing at the same target because they uh, one shot. And then this one, I'll have it slow more so that way when it fires at big targets, it's still doing something useful. So we'll call this the um, discount. Crawly dude, Crawly Blaster. It's the cheap one. It's not that much cheaper, to be honest, so maybe this is not worth doing. Uh, and part of the problem is I actually do need this cheap one, so let's just get rid of this. And we'll try the, we'll try the cheaper one and see how it goes. The cutscene is repeating. The story is pretty dark. It's like got a bunch of themes around like, I guess family abuse, if those robot things are actually the uh, family of the character. And um, I mean, some kind of like transhumanism thing going on where everyone's turning into little robots that crawl around. <laughs> so um, I'm curious. 
Unfortunately, you know, it's just a demo, so you can't really get that far into the story, um, of course. Okay. I think I can speed it up. And we just want to get the uh, discount blaster here as quickly as possible. Which I should be able to get any second now. There we go. So now the little quick ones should not be able to sneak past me. Because this can one-shot them. Um, and now I just need to upgrade my guns and I think I should be set. HP do these guys have? 50? That's quite a bit. But it's the those little ones are the problem, right? So as long as they're getting taken out, it should be good. Upgrade my damage. Get your money. Oh yeah, the super tanky guys. This is the first level we're seeing those, I guess. But yeah, it looks like the uh, Cluster bomb was unnecessary, so that's good. <clears throat> Next, I want to upgrade the blaster. Do I need to upgrade this? Like, its job is just to thin out the the fast packs, so uh, I don't really need to do that right now. Oh, hey, Clover, my cat. She uh, came to get some attention. <laughs> She must be hungry. Well, that's kind of early for her meal time. Yeah, it's only three, so it's definitely too early for her dinner, Clover. Uh, Come on. Get more damage there. Get extra money. Oh, I was not paying close enough attention there. But I think this should be fine as long as these uh, get thinned out, which they did. And it looks like uh, they actually have a lot more health there. They had 43. So maybe making that explosive tower stronger is useful. I wasn't sure if the if the health of the enemies like scaled up with each wave, which, you know, it makes sense that it would. But um, when I tried it in the simulator, I didn't see an option for that. Uh, it would be... There's probably a way to do it, and I just don't know how, but that's something I need to be careful of. So... Do I need to make any changes here? They have this healing enemy. Um, is there... Oh, I guess this must be what a caster is, right? So it would be useful if I could tell my tower to like target it specifically. But that's going to make it even more expensive. And I like that I can place it right away at the moment. So I'm going to try this just with what I have. If I need to, I'll upgrade the tower to focus on the healers and stuff. But usually things don't get too far. Like the way I've been playing the game, I've just been stacking sort of everything right at the start. Um, so it's not usually a concern for them to heal, right? Because they, they usually don't get past the first set of towers. <clears throat> okay. These are going pretty much as planned at the moment. There's the first healing robot coming in. Now the question is, do I want to upgrade this, or do I want to build the AoE gun? I don't see any of the tiny enemies, so I think my best bet is just to upgrade the gun I have at the moment. Because I really want it to punch through things, um, so that it can get to the healers. going fine. Oh, I accidentally released two waves at once, which is obviously not good. Put the second gun down. Oh, 
okay. And next I want to upgrade this tower. And, you know, one thing I still haven't really found a great use for is the laser gun. Like, uh, you know, it does damage and whatnot, but I feel like these just basic turrets seem to do much better in pretty much every situation, so I haven't really felt the need to build them for anything. But I think it... I maybe am just not understanding how to use that tower properly, because uh, it does, like, ramping damage, so you would expect that to be... You know, better than just the basic gun. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't really done too much number crunching on these other than some basic DPS calculations to make sure I'm not wasting money. These little healer guys are the thing I'm kind of afraid of. If they're like in the if they're like in the middle of one of these big packs, that could be not good for me. <laughs> They might accidentally get through as a result. Get the last bit of bonus gold there, or energy. And yeah, I mean, it looks like this wave is pretty much done, unless these super tanky guys get through. But it doesn't look like they will. And there's no healers in this pack, so... Oh, there's one, actually. Hopefully I can take that out. Okay, we did get taken out. That's good. Can upgrade this. What does this do? Oh, it's each uh, weapon on the gun has its own kill count. That's interesting. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. We'll next try level 7 now. And this one does have uh, hero versions of the little crawly dudes. So I think for this one, I do want to have the bigger one. Uh, little crawly blaster. Uh, I feel like this will probably be better for this one because um, this does help a lot if if a combination of like the blaster and the basic tower can't kill one of these guys then they're definitely going to overwhelm me so hopefully that is enough to make the difference it's just essentially doubling the dps of the exploding tower and adding the cluster bombs too which you know i think the cluster bombs are really uh, multiplying the damage quite a bit i don't know if the cluster bombs do full damage or like half damage or something but they do make a pretty substantial difference and I don't have enough money. And I can't cheese it by immediately releasing a second wave. So unfortunately, I do have to place one of these. I'll go ahead and place it here. All right, let's see what happens. And ideally, I want to, you know, have my second tower be uh, one of the upgraded basic turrets. And my third tower, I want it to be one of the AoE guns. Eee, I'm not really sure this is going to work out for me. Come on, one more enemy. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm in the clear now. Uh, unfortunately, I was hoping this gun might be able to just barely reach into this. And it can occasionally, like the ones that wander too close to the corner, but it looks like most of them do not. Also, I think I released the wave earlier there and I didn't get the bonus, which is not good. Hopefully that doesn't mean that they're going to get through here. Oh no, the big guy is tanking for them. Stop him. Oh no, one of them did get through. Okay. I did have to build that tower. That's probably gonna that's probably gonna mess things up here, because yeah, I really needed that um, that money to make the the AoE gun. This one more. Make this one now. And that should help with thinning out all these waves if it ever actually gets to fire at them. Oh, and yep, they got through, so let's try that again.
a little bit unfortunate. So what went wrong? I had to build the second tower and then I had to build the third tower so I couldn't get to the exploding one quickly enough. Hmm. And I released a bunch of waves in way too large numbers as well. So we'll try this again and be a little more careful this time. Sometimes I get a little impatient and I don't want to like slow the game down to be able to like do things, you know, at the right time. build this here, which is where I actually wanted it to be. And uh, next thing is to build the AoE gun right there. Doo -doo. And yeah, I'm hoping once I have the little crawler blaster set up, nothing else should be able to get through. Truth here for those. Which HP do they have? 14. So yeah, I think this gun should be able to take them out pretty efficiently. Yep. And now I can build this here. It's good. Uh, there's probably a better place to build this, but I want it to be early on so it can thin out the, the waves. And I don't think I can... Maybe targeting, target closest. Yeah, it would be nice if I could target the weakest enemy, but I don't have a mod for that at the moment. Oh yeah, that was perfect. So with that thinning out the uh, swarm waves, I think I should be good now. And the last thing I need to do is probably just upgrade this gun. Maybe upgrade some of the other guns. Whoa, something I'm gonna get through here. Looks like it might. Yeah, it did. Build another one. That was unfortunate, because I definitely needed that gold for the upgrade. But we'll see. Okay, good. I thinned out that wave. Those those waves are really the only ones I'm worried about. Upgrade this. So now this does way more damage. speedy guys are definitely an issue. This is definitely way too much. I can sell this though now that the enemies have gotten through and build a, another one of these here and immediately upgrade it. And sell this. Sell this. Build another one here. And that should be good. Like nothing, they shouldn't get through there. So I did have to move my towers on the last wave there. Um, that means I barely made it, obviously, but was able to get through it. What do I have here? The healers, uh, elite tanky units, and I also have the microbots. So do I need this tower? I'm gonna try it again. I feel like I just like the bigger one better, even though it is more expensive. Okay. 
So, definitely want to be placing things here. My question is, do I want them on the smaller rectangle or the bigger rectangle? I feel like I probably want them on the bigger one. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't think it makes a huge difference unless I have them slowed. Oh, wait, did I build the wrong one? I did. I built the small one. That's not the one I want. I want the big one. So we'll start with that. Uh, I think the same strategy is basically going to be good enough to beat all the levels. Um, you know, if uh, needed, I'll make adjustments to the towers. So I hope that that is needed. I think that would be kind of cool to see how you have to sort of adjust things as you go along. But uh, these are some of the earlier levels, you know, it's uh, that I went back to. So they might just be... Oh, that's not good. I definitely need the blaster now. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, I need to build this to help clear those out. Okay, perfect. I think that should be good. Oh, here come the elite units. Yeah, that's why the this thing is so important, right? Otherwise, those little guys would have gone just through unharmed, and I would have obviously just basically lost there. Let's upgrade this. Help take out these elite units quick, more quickly. And yeah, I think I should be fine now. Can upgrade the AoE tower next. Damage, get some more money. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I don't think anything's gonna sneak by me. Build another one of these guns here. And, you know, I haven't really had to do this in uh, these levels so far, but sometimes, like, the position where you put these towers matters because, like, since sun enemy, sun, some enemies are faster than other enemies, if you put them, like, farther back, it gives the fast waves a chance to catch up with the slow waves, right? And so, usually there is, like, an optimal spot to put these where uh, placing it there means that you get, like, um, you get all the little waves kind of coming in at the right time so that you're not having to deal with um, sorry I'm gonna make sure nothing's sneaking through here so that you don't have to deal with um, the overlap of small enemies and big enemies but yeah, this level is uh, there's a lot this is already like a pretty big maze because they go around it twice and so I don't really seem to be having that kind of issue where I need to worry about that. Got him. Okay, two more. And I don't think there's any reason to change my strategy here. If I fail, then I'll adjust what I need to. Okay, so if I remember correctly, they go down and then around, down and then around and so on. So, um, yeah, I mean, the best place to put it is obviously in this slot here. I will put the... I kind of want to put this one here, maybe. Because I want to save that really good spot for, you know, the more powerful turret. So we'll see if I'm able to get away with that. Might not be able to. And since I placed it so far back, I might actually have this issue I mentioned in the last level, right? Where the fast wave is actually going to catch up to this wave. And so now I'm actually dealing with two waves at once. Which might be too much for me. We'll see. 
Yeah, they got through. So, let's try that again. <clears throat> I think I just need to give that turret the good spot, and, you know, I'll just use it as a throwaway turret and put the actual maze farther back. So, put it in the good spot. This should go a lot better, because those little small waves won't keep up with it anymore. Also, I noticed... Are some of the waves, like, going missing? Might need a second one. Like, I feel like I clicked the button and there was one less wave there. I... maybe I just imagine that, though. Oh, wow, this is definitely gonna leak. Huh. Yeah, this is uh, absolutely going to leak. So, what was the problem there? The problem is I have lots of these little enemies, and I have turrets that they fire too slow. How much health do these things have? They have 22 health, and this thing only does... 21 damage, so I'm actually just wasting a ton of damage output here. Okay, so I need to I need to go back to the level designer. I think what I need to do is hmm, not a hundred percent sure to be honest. That wave just has so many swarm enemies. Maybe what I could do is I could make a blaster with two guns. I don't know, which one is the two gun one? I think this is what makes it two guns, yeah. So what if I do this? The damage is pretty low. Orbital bombardments. Hmm. What if I had poison here? Well, this is already more expensive than the previous tower, so I don't want that. Hmm. And then... I can't add extra guns to that, so I guess I need to do this. Alright, because what I would want to do is add extra, mod extra projectiles. And then increase the damage. No, that's not what I want. I think I just want extra projectiles. Oops. Um. Oh, that reduces it to... So this shoots five projectiles. So I can either do five projectiles or increase the damage by 3.5. This is doing 15, and if I add a second one, it's doing 22 and a half. And if I add these two, it's doing 22. So they're basically identical. But I'd rather have the extra projectiles, I think. Okay. Let's try this. We'll call this the... Uh, what are the other ones called? Alright, they're the pea shooters. Wait, how do I go back? Oh, okay. This one will be the uh, double pea shooter. Okay. And I don't want the baby pea shooter, I want the double pea shooter. And I just need this to carry me through the first couple waves. And it's actually just a tiny bit more than what I can afford. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically immediately send two waves. Wait, but then I can just do this one. 
So why do I need that at all? Hmm. I mean, I guess this would potentially let me get an extra gun if I built a lot of them, but I usually don't build very many. I just build a handful because they're so expensive. going to be problematic, I think. We shall see. Well, looks like it worked out. I definitely need to build the AoE gun, though. Hopefully that is enough. Looks like it might have been. Oh yeah, so I didn't even need this. I don't know what I did differently last time to make that work out so much better. I want a second one of these. So, I'm pretty sure this should be done deal now. These uh, guys that speed them up are a little scary too. Okay, this. Go ahead and send this one out early. That one out early. And uh, I guess I'll just upgrade this gun. Okay, well, uh, I guess I must have done something a little differently there. I'm not really sure what I did different, though. I thought I did the same thing. Maybe I built one of the weaker towers early, and I just didn't notice. Okay, so this is the last level, and now I need to do it without taking damage. And this has some of everything. Hmm. Let's start with this and see what happens. You do get a lot of starting gold on this one. Okay, and pretty standard layout again. It's just going around in a circle. So these will be the best tiles. Let's do... First ways are just normal enemies. So let's do this. Start with this one. Right there. So there's two of them, right? And I click this. Yeah, I feel like one of the enemies disappeared, or was like... Huh? Maybe this is the same one, the same wave? I'm not really sure, to be honest, but... Uh, I mean, the number of waves coming out ends up being the correct number, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but... It's fine. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. slow things down before they get here. I'll give them more time to pick them up. Okay, these fast guys are usually an issue, but not this time. There's this one now. They have a healer, but the cannon is powerful enough to deal with that. Let's take that out. Another gun soon. 
I think I do want a second gun instead of upgrading this one because I have this wave of the little guys coming up and I want to make sure I'm able to take them out before uh, before they get through and upgrading this might just be overkill because it would just do way more damage than is necessary to kill one of those little ones. And now I want to upgrade this so that it can help deal with these super elite enemies. Nice. I think with that I should be set. Now I just need to deal with the boss when he comes through. And, uh... Ooh, that one almost made it through. Okay, now I need to upgrade these guns. Oh, that's scary. They uh, are just booking it through there. Oh no, one of them got through! So, build this here. Oh man, I didn't want to build that though. I wanted to upgrade one. I probably had enough money to upgrade too, and I just wasn't paying close enough attention. But that's okay. Oh, these guys are tanky. 300 health. enemy there, but I definitely don't want that to get through. It looks like it will be taken care of. Get some more money. Nice, it got a shot off where it hit all the little ones. Upgrade this. That one's already upgraded, that one's already upgraded. Oh, that's not good. Let's build a second one of these. Hopefully that's enough to stop them. Oh, it was not. Oh man, I was so close. Alright. That's fine. I guess um, those big slow guys helped them get through because they were tanking for the, the fast ones. Um, but those fast guys are pretty tanky as well. Like, it, they wouldn't die to two of the triple P shooters. So, let's... I think this was fine to open with. So we'll start with that. And uh, yeah, I mean let's let's just do it. Okay. to build the AoE tower now. Build it here. Oh, actually, I should have built it farther out. Well, we'll see if that ends up hurting me, because this is what I did last time, and I, I wanted to build it a little farther out here and put the regular tower there. But figure something out. I think it'll help to put the rest of the towers farther back um, so that these guys can't tank for them as long next time they run through. That was definitely part of the problem there. Cool, my god, there's so many. Let's get wiped out. This will be upgraded. Hopefully this can take them out. Nice. Turn the microbots. Oh no, these are the fast guys. I really don't like these. Those are the little microbots. Yeah, this this tower is really important for those, especially the elite ones. It's here, and then I want to start upgrading these in the back. Do I need to upgrade this? It doesn't look like I do. Seems like upgrading it might be unnecessary. Like that. 
Yeah, see, so these guys are tanking for the best ones, and by putting these towers further back, hopefully I am avoiding that. Although now they no tank for that little guy. Money. Oh, and that's the boss now, right? Wait, why is the boss out already? Isn't he supposed to be the last wave? Uh oh, he's not getting through. Oh man, I got through again. That was just a tiny bit too close. I should have just put a second gun down. I could have stopped that. Yeah, that was just my bad. Alright. So I think what I did is fine. I just wasn't paying close enough attention. So start with this again. Go ahead and start it. I said I wanted to put it a little farther out, so let's try that. Nice. There's that. I want to upgrade this. These guys are definitely annoying. They're extremely tanky. Now the question is, do I upgrade my AoE tower? I don't think I need to. I think I'm better off doing this. I'm gonna try placing it here. pretty well. I think what I want to do is start upgrading these towers. So if I get this, is this better? Because this is like more than doubling the fire rate, which double dips on the damage upgrade, right? It's so expensive though. We can give it a try. I would like to try doing a double upgrade at some point. Because so far I've just been upgrading them once. Yeah, so he's not going to fire on that one, which is exactly what I don't want it to be doing. I want it to fire at these guys. Uh, I'm not 
sure I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get through. So I do need to add the second one. How are they healing so much? Is there a healer? Huh. They're gonna get through. Wow, that time wasn't even close. That was a lot worse than last time. What did I do different? Huh. Go back and think about this. I guess I'm just not doing enough damage. Is there any way I can get my damage output even higher? Maybe the laser? I mean, I don't want the laser to have multiple guns, right? I want it to focus on one target for a long time. So... Ten maximum ramp levels. What does that do? Where's the, uh, the boss guy? He was surprisingly early. There it is. So let's see what happens here. So that's not doing very much damage. Let's change this. These guns are a little buggy too, they seem to... That was like 100 damage. I mean, that's not that great to be honest. It's like 150 damage if it gets a full charge off. do exactly shift yeah I want to see what this one does for every second the laser fires on a single charge it ga increases its damage gaining intensity up to three times but I've also increased the number of levels so that means it needs to fire the number of levels uh, the duration has to be as, at least as long as the number of levels so right now it's at seven so I don't actually need this many firing well, I guess you do want to sustain the damage at that level for a while, though. Hmm. But what if I increase the damage? What does that do to it? Let's try this. Alright, so... Oh, it did that thing where it, like, refires when it can't reach. 1942, that was still about 100 damage. Um, that's just not enough. So, let's try this. That's about 170, it's a little bit better. Hmm. 
I don't really know how it ramps though, is part of the issue. Let's see what happens here. That was like 150. But like, compared to just like this one, right? This one's already out damaged it. Hmm. Maybe I just need... Maybe I need an extra gun? Like, let's get rid of this. What does this do? And how do I actually use it? Oh. See, so that lets me blast things from anywhere. Why can't I do that over here? Huh, interesting. Interesting. The problem is I'm having though is that enemies are running past, so like firing in one spot like that is not very helpful. Just slowing the enemy and adding modifiers for increased duration. Like what would this do? No, that was not good at all. And it's just because it doesn't last long enough, obviously. I meant to do uh, two of those. I meant to do those, not the other ones. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so 1750. That did 200 damage. It's 290. So 200 damage. Oh uh, yeah, these just do way more damage. What if I just don't have them slow? That makes it a lot cheaper. Let's try removing the slow from this. And... Updating this one. We want it to have the slow. Let's try this. Double P shooter. I want the discount blaster. Are these the same? I'm not sure. And, uh,. I guess I will do the regular one. So let's try that now. That made the towers a little cheaper and hopefully that will help me spread them out a little more and deal with the enemies that snuck through. Okay, let's 
So I need this thing here. I can just go ahead and build a second one right off the bat. This I just want for the slow. Okay. Upgrade these. That's going well. I kind of want to upgrade this if I can, but I should probably upgrade this one. Yeah, those elite enemies are just so tanky. And this is just needed for slowing, so I could upgrade its fire rate. I'm not sure if I want to do that. If possible, I probably want to upgrade the damage on this one instead by increasing its fire rate. Oh my god, they're just so fast. That speed guy let them get through. And now I'm not going to get this upgrade. Hmm, that might have uh, that might have done me in, unfortunately. Let's see. If I can get this upgrade, then I think I'm okay. That one, nice. I think I did it. That might have been enough. Okay. I'll upgrade this one next. Oh. I'm gonna need another one. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh, okay. That was close. Uh, I really wanted to get this upgrade though. What about this guy? Is he gonna die? Yeah, he'll definitely die before he gets to the end. Okay, I guess I did it actually. That was it. So now I need to move these towers forward. Sell this. Sell this. Buy a triple, upgrade it. Okay, well, that should be it. Nice. So yeah, I guess I just need to make the towers just a tiny bit cheaper so that I can afford that extra upgrade. And that did it. I think I got all the all the bonus objectives. Let me check. Yep, got all of them. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I like, like I said, that you you kind of have to adjust things between levels. Um, you know, obviously I was able to get like a loadout that was pretty efficient, but that last level I actually had to weaken my towers a little bit, I guess. Um, well, maybe weaken's the wrong choice of words, right? But I had to, um, I had to make my towers cheaper so that I can afford that extra upgrade on the right wave, because there was that wave of like the tanky enemies that were just overwhelming me. But that's it for me. Uh, looking forward to this releasing. I, I'm hoping that there's going to be like more upgrades for things like range and um, maybe some towers with different types of firing uh, areas, you know, like uh, instead of being circles, some of them can have like cones or lines and things like that. But in any case, uh, it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.